Hi, we're right now, this is Noreen Nayar, and we're here with Justin Wilcox. Yes, yes that's right. Tell me a bit about your company, what's its name, what do you do? Sure, sure. I actually have a number of companies that I run. I'm kind of what, what you call like a lifestyle entrepreneur. So I've got a number of very small companies that make money while I'm here talking with you. So they're all sort of passive income generators. So one of them is a healthcare software company, it's called Nimbus Health. We help doctors and hospitals share medical records with patients. Um, another is mobile apps. So I've got a number of mobile apps out there. Uh, one of them is an iPhone picture translator. You take a picture of a sign that's written in a different language, and it will tell you what that text is in your native language. How many languages does that cover? That is 18 languages. Cool. Yeah. So, um, so basically, my life is all about exploring new ideas, um, optimizing these ideas in terms of the features that people want, but also the money that they make. And then uh, I sort of travel around the world talking to people about how to do the same thing. Oh, interesting. Uh, so you were talking at uh, Lean Startup about your experience with crowdfunding, is that mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. And you said something really interesting. You said your, a startup is your hobby. Mm, yeah. So the, the, the question really that each of us as founders need to ask is, are we building a business something that will make us more money uh, than we would make otherwise, or are we just building a hobby, right? And it, hobbies are fine, right? Like, yeah. a, like a fun little toy. Um, and most of my companies turn out to be little hobbies. Yeah. Uh, but if we really want to build a business, we need to answer the question, is this going to make money? And uh, the crowdfunding experiment is a way to figure out, will it make money before we spend a lot of time building it? Mm -hmm. So what, uh, what are some success stories from so from the experiment we're running right now uh, is, is crowdfunding a, an iPhone app that's not built. And basically the idea is I'm selling pre-orders of this, this app that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And then we're measuring, does it, does it make more money at $5 versus $10? Does it make more money with a video that's user-centric or make more money with a video that's feature-centric? Cool. Does it make more money as a gift that you give to other people that are late, or mm -hmm. does it make more money as it, when I sell it to you if you're late all the time? Okay, and uh, for like you know people who are kind of tech savvy but not really like are they so are they are these companies are there companies that you've helped that are not just yours like for example enterprise and so forth that sometimes don't understand sure. asking people. Yeah, yeah. Well, it turns out like not very many people understand about asking people at all anyway. Um, a good friend of mine, he's doing a, um, a social enterprise. Mm -hmm. It's called Moving Worlds. And what they do is they help you volunteer your expertise to go travel internationally for free. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is a kind of a, it's a new type of business. It's not quite a non-profit. It's a, it's a do-good for-profit enterprise. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking a lot about customer development and this idea of testing before he goes and builds. Mm -hmm. um, and then as I travel around, there's lots of lots of companies, especially outside the valley, who this idea of testing a product before we build it is kind of new. Uh, so we've been helping all of them kind of you know get in the ditches and start interviewing people before they start building, um, prototyping, and, and all that kind of good stuff. That's cool. And how has how has Lean Startup really impacted your businesses? Like it seems to me, it seems very much very clear. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe there's some things I'm missing out on that. You know, what's the core of the ways that Lean Startups really yeah. shifted your ways? Were you always like this? That's no, what no, okay. no, no. It's a, it's a really great question. My first company, my healthcare software company, uh, I had actually left Microsoft to go build it. Uh, and it was going to be big. This was during the, you know, um, there was tons of money being invested in the healthcare space. And we right. were going to capitalize on it and make a ton of money. Yeah. And it turns out we just did it. We failed miserably. We just burst into flames. Um, and the reason why I'm so interested in Lean Startup stuff is that I know why we failed. I know why, because we didn't ask our customers, are we solving, you a, problem? solving a problem for you? I didn't test how much money they would pay. We didn't do any of this stuff. So um, although that company's not exactly dead and still makes a little bit of money, it certainly didn't meet the expectations that we had set for ourselves. So basically everything I do now is now informed by Lean Startup. And I've killed half a dozen businesses because I know they're not going to make me money. Wow. But do you think money is the main thing, or is there something else? Is it more about, I mean, isn't that what Lean Star talks about? Don't think about the money. But is it more like not thinking about the money makes you the money? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I, and I, I yes, this, this idea that, that Lean Startup is not about making money yes. is totally false and wrong. Okay. So, so let's just clear that up right now. Okay. Lean Startup is about eliminating waste, mm. right? And so for some people, 
it's they're doing this because they need money, like passive income. Like that's why I need this. I need money. Mm -hmm. um, some people are doing it. Uh, they're maybe they're working in a nonprofit where their goal is to to um, evangelize some new idea or concept or help some people out. Whatever it is that you want to work towards, Lean Startup helps you work towards that by eliminating waste and yeah. getting you there as quickly as possible. Um, so it's not always about money, but for me, it is. Okay, that's very cool. Um, and uh, so where are you based? Tell us a bit about you know where you're based, what you're doing next, and uh, how you want to take your projects in the future. Sure. So I split my time now between Seattle and the Bay Area, uh, and then with a little bit in Puerto Rico. Uh, I've got some friends down there. But uh, in next year, I hope to be traveling around to a couple other places in the United States and even outside the United States, just sort of helping other people understand, like, hey, here's some experiments that we've run. Here's some ways that, uh, that you can help grow your company without spending a lot of time building an actual product. Um, because to be perfectly honest, this lifestyle of um, being able to make money while I'm sitting here talking to you uh, helps me go pursue a more fulfilled life. And if I can help other people do that by letting them let go of a 9 to 5 job, then uh, that makes me happy. That's great. Yeah. Um, any other things you want to add? or? Um, if someone out there has a really interesting experiment that they've run uh, and they want to tell the world about it and get a little press, we would love to write about them on our and, blog. And where would this be? This blog is called CustomerDevLabs.com. Okay, cool. Thank you for your time, Dustin. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Alright, why did I say bye? <laughs>